Hi, it's Starnell with Way Oven Recipes. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking up a homemade deep dish pizza. Gonna be making the dough in my bread machine and cooking it up in my new Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. So this turned out pretty well making regular pizza. So let's see how it does with doing deep dish. And so we're gonna get started with that recipe right now. Okay, so to get my pizza dough together, I'm gonna be using my bread machine here and I'm gonna make a one and a half pound uh, bread dough ball. So the ingredients for the dough are one cup of warm water. I actually just ran some hot water in there. One tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Get that in there. I've got one tablespoon of kosher salt. Always use kosher salt in your bread machine, not iodized salt, iodized salt will uh, not work as well. I've got three cups of bread flour, so pouring in that bread flour. As I'll pour this in, as I pour this in I'll mention um, if you get into making your own bread with a bread machine you can get a very large bag of dough, bread dough from places like Costco for prices very 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 far less than the prices of those five pound bags of bread dough at the uh, supermarkets. So lots of savings if you get into the bread machine thing and get yourself a nice large, uh, like maybe 50 pound bag of dough, bread dough. All right, now I just made myself a little well. I'm supposed to use two teaspoons of yeast. So I'm just pouring in some dry active yeast here. All right, with that all in, I am now going to close up the bread machine and turn it around here. All right, so I'm going to hit the loaf button to get to my one and a half pound loaf. Then I'm going to hit menu till I get to nine, which is dough. All right, so it's on dough. It'll take an hour and a half. I'm just going to click start and then uh, bring you back when the dough is done. Okay, so the bread machine has done its work to make the dough, so I got it out of the way and just have the dough here. The other ingredients I have for this deep dish pizza, basically you can use whatever you want, but I'm just using what I have on hand here. I've got some shredded mozzarella cheese, some pepperoni, pizza sauce, some uh, cooking spray that I'm just going to spray this 10 inch pan with. If you have a deep dish pizza pan, of course that's best, that'll give you a nice crunchy bottom if you have a like maybe a 12 inch or 13 inch deep dish pizza pan if you're using like a baking pan like this the crust is going to be a little softer but the outcome should still be pretty decent you know so i'm just using what i have here i'm going to spray this all right so got things well sprayed in that uh pan there now i'm just going to take my dough i may not use all of it i don't uh feel that i'll need all of it so any excess I'll just toss over here on the side but I may be able to use all of it we'll see it's going to yeah I may be able to to use it all it'll be a pretty thick deep dish pizza but uh, we'll be able to use the whole pound and a half loaf here wasn't sure how much of it might get into my pan I'm just basically going to spread this out real good Give it some high sides and a deep bottom. All right, now that I feel I've got my dough pressed out real good, I'm going to start getting my uh, smart oven to preheat. So I'm going to hit the on off button. I'm going to hit the menu button until I get the pizza. So it's 450. I'm going to change the time. I don't know if I'll need the full 30, but I'm just going to change it up to 30. And so from this point, I want to preheat it. So I'm going to hit the preheat button and hit start. So it's going to preheat to 450. I've got my rack on the second up from the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and from this point, just put in my cheese. Now I'm going to pour in my... Uh, pizza sauce. Just cover that cheese up. First let me shake this up some. I always forget to shake it up good. Alright. Let me 
makes it a bit thicker and richer pouring out. I'm going to grab myself some pepperonis and just uh, sprinkle those around. Alright, now I'm just going to just lightly garnish the top with a little cheese. If you have another cheese you can use, just to kind of put a little on top, you can do, you know, a different type of cheese. I'm just uh, using more of the mozzarella, <clears throat> more of the mozzarella I have on hand. Just sprinkle a little more, a little bit on top, not much at all. Just like a little on there. Alright, we'll just wait for things to finish preheating. Okay, preheating has ended. And so I have five minutes to get it in. So I stick it on in there. And I'm going to just hit the start button. Now it starts the 30 minute countdown. I'll keep an eye on things. And I'll bring you back in a bit. Okay, 12 minutes have passed. I'm just going to do a pause and a quick spin. I'm going to pull it out. And you can see how it's cooking there. I'm just going to spin it, spin the pan some. Get about a 180 there. All right. When I do that. I'm going to start it up again. I do that because the uh, back of the smart oven often cooks hotter than the front, and so spin it to give it a more even cook. And you notice how quiet this smart oven is. It's got its air fryer fan going while it's doing this pizza cook. Oh, well, basically, it's fan going while it's doing this pizza cook. It's so quiet. That's so cool. So. Um, it's been going 12 minutes. I'm gonna let it keep going, keep an eye on things, bring you back. All right, so 21 minutes have passed. Things look pretty well done to me in there. So I'm gonna hit the pause button and I'm going to just have a look. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna turn it off and uh, just pull it on out of here. Sorry about that noise there. All right, so there's our finished deep dish pepperoni pizza. So uh, looks pretty good, just 21 minutes. I'm gonna let it uh, just cool just a little bit before I do any uh, attempts to try and get in there and plate it. But it looks nice to me. Pretty nice uh, outcome so far. We'll have to plate and taste test. Okay, so we've got our finished deep dish pizza here. I want to leave it in the pan personally, so I'm just using some plastic uh, utensils to try and cut a slice out of there. Let's see, I'll probably use this when it's bigger. Alright, so I got a slice out and uh, just making sure I get some more of my toppings on there. It's kind of caving in on me a little bit. But here's our finished slice. And so let's get the camera swap and do a taste test of this deep dish pizza where we used our bread machine to make the dough and the new wave Bravo XL Smart Oven to cook it up. All right, our deep dish pizza here. And uh, you know, let me know in the comments how you would cook up your deep dish pizza. Maybe you would do some things a little different as far as technique, you know. Feel free to share your thoughts there, but now we're going to taste test. All right, that turned out pretty good. You know, you can use whatever you want in there, but uh, that's basically a uh, good way to do a Chicago deep dish style pizza you know and coming off the cake pan the crust you know it's not crunch crunch but it's it's a harder crust so it came out pretty decent you know it came out harder than I expected from that pan so the new way Bravo XL smart oven does it once again and so uh, you can find this and other recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com direct access to this YouTube channel you can get here through waveovenrecipes.com Twitter, Wave Oven Recipes. On Instagram, there'll be pictures of this and other uh, cooks 
that's at Wave Oven Recipes. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. And good eating.